Hi guys, in this video I want to look at how to add different shipping methods or shipping prices to your e-commerce website. So once again you've logged into the dashboard of your website. On the left hand side where we have all our different menu items we want to scroll down to the one that says online shop. If we hover over this we then want to go to settings. Once we click on settings it will display the different functionalities that we can click into. Of course, the one we want to look at in this video is the shipping tab just up here. If we click on this, we're going to get a new page which will allow us to configure the different shipping prices for our items. Right now, we're going to look at the three very basic shipping prices that you can add to a website. So firstly, we want to add the different countries. So let's say we have different prices for Europe, America, Ireland, England and so on. So the first one that might be here on your website already is Ireland. If it's not, you can add it by pressing Add Shipping Zone. So let's just add the UK really quickly. We click on Add Sh Shipping Zone. Once we've done that, it's going to ask us to give the zone a name so that we can distinguish which one it is. So we'll call this zone UK. It then asks us to select the regions that are part of this zone. So we'll look for Great Britain, it might not be there, or United Kingdom, there we go, United Kingdom, UK. And then it asks for us to add a shipping method, and we can add multiple shipping methods. So let's see what that means. So let's click on Add Shipping Method. The first one is a flat rate fee, and that's just one fee no matter what you order. The next is free shipping, or you have local pickup. Local pickup means they can pick it up at the shop. Not very many customers use this or clients, but it's there as an option. So let's do flat rate first. We click on the add shipping method. And now that's added. And let's say we want to offer free shipping to the UK as well. If they buy a certain amount of products, we can click on add shipping and we can also add free shipping and add shipping method. So let's take a look first at the free or at the flat rate. We want to edit that. So at the moment, you can see they are enabled. If you ever want to turn any of them off, just simply click that button back. But we'll keep them both on for now. So let's look at the flat rate. Click on the flat rate, and it asks us, is it taxable? That's up to you. If you're charging tax on your website, you can have tax charged on the shipping also. Or we can turn that off. And the cost. So let's just say every order to be shipped to the UK equals 15 euro. Now. If it's a case that you want to get a bit more in depth, if you click this little question mark here, we can do a, a different, depending on the product that you sell, it will tell you that you can do say 10 euro, multiply, or 15 euro multiplied by, and then do the quantity, QTY. So now what would happen is it will cost a flat rate fee of 15 euro, or $15, whatever country you're in, and that will be by each product that they have in their cart. And you can save changes. Free shipping. What we can do is, free shipping requires a valid free shipping coupon, a minimum order amount, a minimum order amount or a coupon, or a minimum order amount and a coupon. So in most cases, what people will do is a minimum order amount. So if somebody has 100 euro worth of products in their cart, we'd like to give them free shipping. We hit save. And then simply hit the green button that says save changes. Now we can go back to shipping zones once more and we'll now have the UK and Ireland. So let's take a look at Ireland. If we click on this, we can also configure the shipping for Ireland. At the moment, we just have flat rate, which is two euro. And again, if we want, we can do it that it's two euro by each item that's in the card and save changes. Let's take a look at the local pickup. So we can put local pickup on here if we wanted. Again, not many people use it. We'll call it free or maybe it's a euro. And basically you'll be able to just let people know that they can pick up their product at your store. Again, we just hit save changes and then go back to shipping zones. 
This is just a very basic video of how to offer different shipping prices. Let's just look at adding one more shipping zone. So we press add shipping zone. Give the zone a name, we'll call it Germany. Select our country. Add a shipping method, flat rate. Add a shipping method, free shipping. Click on flat rate, choose a price. Let's say it's 25 euro to ship there, no matter how many products they order. Or we can do free shipping, requires a minimum order. 250 euro, hit save. And we'll save our changes. Now we go back to our shipping zones. We've now got three countries covered. We've got our, well, the UK, I guess counts for a few. We've got the UK, Ireland, and Germany. Down here at the very bottom on your website, you'll have locations not covered by your other zones. This is for every other country that we didn't distinguish a price for there. If we want, we can cover all of them with just one set price by going to Manage Shipping Zones, clicking on the flat rate by all locations not covered, and giving them all a price of say 40 euro or whatever price shipping is for every other country, and simply hit save.